All right, we're back with Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, and you know what's weird? After I came back to this menu, I got the halfway point cutscene from the main story, which I'm pretty sure you shouldn't get. Unless it's only the first, first uh, one. Anyways, with Blade Man done, we can now move on to Strike Man. Strike Man is well. He's just a baseball, and this is a sports level. Everyone's favorite. So, this is another level I kind of did my best to go fast in back in the day, but it's a lot more awkward and I don't actually remember how I really went for it. Uh, the main gimmick of this one is that there's too many bosses that suck. And uh, I'm absolutely nailing it. Yep, this is this that was flawless. Absolute perfection. This isn't actually that hard, so I should probably not be using the the extremely awkward to use special weapon for this. I really dig the music in this level though. I don't really dig that one. Alright, so... The eyes on this thing... Tell you... Where the ball is coming from, and as Proto Man, I can actually block the ball. So that's pretty cool. Go... Could, could, could have done, done something about that. So that was uh, simple enough, it's not gonna stay that way though, because there's a second one later on and that one is a bit more tricky. So these enemies have two different versions of them, one has round balls that bounce like round balls, ow, I want to be down here though, and the second one has these weirdly shaped oval egg ones that Bounce in a less round way. Best explanation. Alright, next up we have... Rocket Football League. In which you shoot a ball and it propels itself into the air. Also halfway point. Now, I could do this properly, or I could just say fuck it and skip the entire section. I guess I'm gonna go with the latter. That was incredibly easy, and in fact the entirety of this section is incredibly easy. Now, to get this extra life, you can actually stand on top of these. And it just kinda works. Alright, here's number two. There's no electricity. The main thing is that it limits your time you can shoot up here. And by main thing, I mean that's pretty much the only thing. I couldn't really do that properly. Whatever. I just need to play the goalkeeper myself and ram my head right into his... Hard rectangular chin. Good, nailed it. And I probably no longer have the necessary energy to do this section. You can go underneath this, but this enemy is kind of a pain if you do. So, uh, caution is recommended, but you can definitely do it just like that. Alright. I should have one more life because I picked that one. Ouch. Up. 
truly nailed it. Yeah. Go figure. Rodoman actually manages to make this boss somewhat easier. Never would have thought I'd see that day. Blocking is really useful when you get used to it. And I completely mistimed that. And because of that I'm almost dead. So, there's more lockers shooting at me. They are generally too high for me to actually hit them. And because of that I'm dead. Am I dead? I'm not dead yet, but this is getting bad really quickly. Uh, how do I deal with this guy quickly? Seabomb, pro probably. Why don't I just go for the energy? Well, that's that's bad. That's bad. That's really bad, actually. Rather not redo this level. If we could not do that, that would be nice. All right. Let's let's not take dumb damage this time, and that would be nice. Okay, I know how to deal with this boss, now I just need to deal with it. Okay, that's one. That's two. Can you do it like they do it in Texas? Whatever the hell that means. And just let me hit me during that. I think one more will do- ow. Ugh. Is there anything I can do to kill these things better? I mean, I can definitely kill these things way faster using this. Yeah, there we go. The Triple Blade is incredibly useful if I didn't mention that last time. Because, like, like back in the day it was actually kind of compared to the Metal Blade in Mega Man 2, which is, like, the most broken weapon in this entire series. Now, I don't think that's true. Can I block this with the wheel cutter? Yes, I can. Do I want to, though? Uh, this looks awkward as hell. Actually, I think the idea is that I use a weapon that's not the buster to hit this. Or, you know, I could probably just coil it. That's uh, not gonna actually work. Whoop. That works. That doesn't. Wait, I can't make that jump? Why can't I make that jump? I mean, I guess I can do it like this if you insist. Actually, I can just jet all over this. I mean, this is the end. Now, here's a dilemma. I'm all out of... I was about to say I'm all out of Estuses, but uh, I'm all out of lives, which aren't even related. And I'm not very good at fighting Strike Man. So, Strike Man's gimmick is that he flies like a ball and he throws like a ball. However, he is incredibly weak to getting hit by his weakness, so that the tank was probably wasted. But, yeah. The weapon, which I think is the Rebound Striker, we'll see in a few seconds, it bounces around and gains power as it bounces. 
And that's actually how it works for us too. It's incredibly awkward to hit with, but it's kind of like a faster Gemini laser. I think that also increases in power as it goes. So it's... In, in that sense, it's a pretty much a direct upgrade to something old. So let me uh, nap two extra lives here. Just to make up for the ones I already lost. Alright, three to go. Next up is Sheepman. Oh Sheepman, you are always mocked by many. And yet I absolutely both love your teaming, but also you're just kind of hilarious. The fight itself is kind of eh, but I love everything else about it. So, one of the main gimmicks that I've actually seen in a lot of fan games and stuff is these uh, disappearing blocks that apparently make for good puzzles. I'm not sure if I'm sold on that, but whatever you say. So these towers, they shoot, but you can stand on them and they just kind of collapse. You know, collapse. Yay, a floating brain hit me. I didn't think it was floating forward me. Oh, I was too late and almost killed myself with it. I almost fucked that jump up and killed myself. Oh. Kinda of forgot I had to charge shot again. What a surprise, I know. Here's another great gimmick. So, the thing on the ground here... That's something the floating brains use if they get the chance. We'll see those later though. I think this leads to good... Eh, kinda neutral. Yep, nailed it. Alright. There is a mini boss involved. And this thing is annoying. So you need to stick energy into it. And after that you can get up there and shoot him and... Wait, how did I block that? I don't think I hit it with my shield. Unless I did, which is always a possibility. And there we go, incredibly easy. I know, sometimes it's not as easy. I'm not... Like, I should have gotten... I feel like I should have gotten hit by the electricity. Yep. Don't know what that was, but I'll take it. Okay, I can't really do anything about that guy. So let me jump down and do something about that guy. And I almost got destroyed by that attack. Why was he already... Well, ready. Okay, this is going smoothly. Help. Why the hell did I go down? Alright, here comes the brain. And it's dead before it even does anything. So there's two different options. Either it becomes a bigger flying thing, or it becomes a turret cannon thing. It uh, isn't a big trait in either. Of course, this is the game's slightly electric team level, so it gets the Yoku blocks. Everyone's uh, favorite gimmick. Oh my god, why? So, have I taken a single hit from anything... Anything else in this level from other than these towers? They're probably about to hit me again. Yeah, how about... Well, we get to see it in action. It gets to do absolutely nothing against me. Oh no, it's... It's... Clippies. Sli slightly... Adult... Brother. What? Are we, like, 
quite done yet here. Like, looking for like a halfway point or something. Yay, I solved it! It was such a difficult puzzle. Okay... I'm surprised I managed to do that. Oh, final boss! Ah, I fucked up the slide! Hmm... That's unfortunate. Now I'm now I'm obligated to go back the entire level. How far back is this? Nailed it. Like I thought this would have been at the next similar spot where the one where I took all the damage basically. No, this is even earlier. I pressed B. What the hell? I can't believe I managed to die completely identically twice. Like, this is the section where I lost all my lives. Uh, better idea. Die. And I don't trust myself. I have trust issues with myself now. Don't trust... Don't trust anyone, not even yourself. I mean, I can just do that. And there we go. No problem. I think I'm just gonna stick to... Stick to the triple blade for now, since that's a, an actually helpful weapon. Yep, that is a helpful weapon, alright. I can't cheese this section again. But then again, it's a Mega Man 10. It's not gonna be exactly a Paragon of difficulty in terms of Yoku blocks. Yep, that was uh, incredibly simple. Alright, so I can just skip this section. Question my life choices as I die. Oh no, that was my last life, wasn't it? I can't believe I came over it in Sheep Man. Wow, that is pathetic. Well, time to go fast then. Yep, that, uh, that was an example of going fast, alright. I kinda want that though. Still think it's faster to do it like this though. Alright. Well, that was a poor choice in so many ways. Alright. Did. Did the brain just. Miss where it was going. Wow. I mean, whatever you say, game. I'm not about to judge. Okay, can I do this smoothly? Yes. Should have probably aligned myself a bit better for that, but oh well. Did not quite nail it. And there we go. Why do I feel like that thing has way less health now than 
before. And with that I think I'm about back to halfway point, so it's about time I switch back to triple plating the hell out of these dumb things. I actually kinda want that health. Easy every time. Still have trust issues with myself. Alright, why do I switch back to the regular blade instead of the better weapon? Could have always also used uh, Rush Coil for that, it's not like I'm gonna run out of that. Oh hey, we actually got to see the floating version of that enemy. Alright, kill these real quick. And then we can just jet over and be done with this. Actually kinda still want those though. Health is always good when you're Proto Man, who uh, isn't very good at being Proto Man. Okay, uh, kinda want the we weapon tank. Which is not really much of a puzzle, is it? Then, I'm just gonna take this hit so I can be at a better spot in life. And I almost died. Still gonna get that though. You can't stop me! And there we go. Oop! Those almost hit me. Alright, for our boss we get the Rebound Striker, which is kind of awkward to hit with on him. So he's the vaguely electric one, so his gimmick is to turn into clouds. And only one of those four clouds is the real deal. Also, I'm getting kind of lucky here. And so much for that. The real one always makes like this shot last, and that shot shoots out me being out of his weakness. Good. He is really easy once you learn him. I think the hard mode version is actually kind of tough though, but we're not dealing with hard mode today. Or ever. Who knows, maybe. I, I, again, I would say that if people are interested, they can tell me. But nobody actually watches this video, so, you know. So we get the Thunder Wool. Thunder Wool sucks. That's really all there is to it. Uh, I don't need to buy any more lives. Yeah, I have more than the standard, so let's keep on going. Next up is Pump Man. Pump Man is blue, therefore he is water. And as we know, water is weak to electricity. And so we get to a server level. And this might be my least favorite level. It's kind of long and it's kind of annoying. Also it has spiders in it. I don't like that fact, spiders suck. So, well he has evolved whatever the name of these things are. And here's the, like, I'd say the main gimmick. The water coming down from these does weigh you down. Can you shoot? Yes, you can. These things just kind of stick onto these holes and then they start shooting gunk at you. They're uh, not very threatening. I'm not going to say they are completely trivial. Now, down there is a shitty section because it has shrimp in it. And it also has platforming and I fucked myself. Help. Oh hey! The uh, metal slime actually killed me there. I slipped because of it. Nice. I'm not even mad about that because I'm pretty sure that's 
that makes that almost clever enemy placement. At least for those enemies. So maybe this time I won't die. When I use my uh, item to skip drum sections. You know, maybe. Is that optimism? It's, it's probably optimism. Could be. Yeah, so let's try that again. This time we don't want to be too high up. It still does weigh you down, unless you press up, in which case it stops. And here's a split pass. Pretty sure this jump is possible, but it's really tight. So, I'm just not gonna do it. I usually end up taking the other path, so let's go with this. This is clearly the harder path to get to, so it has presumably better stuff in it. Like the spider. The spider needs to make like a leaf and fuck off. Alright, I'm up here now. So slightly perilous platforming. Is this even how I want to do this, or is it like the shrimp? No, shrimp bad. Shrimp more bad. Help. Okay. I don't trust myself. I really should. But I don't. Uh, might as well use the triple blade. Also, did the bats already connect back? So you can't get this bot from this side. Unless, you know, you do that. Not very hard. Alright, uh, here's a slightly annoying section. Should kill the upper one first, because that one can actually hit you and stuff, but... I forgot. And then you make a slightly very lost jump. Then you fuck up a simple jump. And then you feel obligated to try it again, or skip it entirely, because you can. Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed by these things right now. Ooh, that was a good drop. Nice. Alright, I'm currently sticky, let's keep that in mind. And there we go, I'm actually almost out of triple blade and now I'm not. But I'm pretty sure we're also relatively close to the end by now, so... Eh, I don't think it it's even that helpful at this point for me. And there we go. We're back to full health and full triple blade. Oh, so the path comes back to here. So that just leaves us with the boss. Wow, this level went quickly. Uh, the Thunder Wool is kind of good against him, but it's also kind of awkward to aim. So this is the shield boss of the game. He puts up a shield and jumps around. And the Thunder Wool, which only again deals weakness damage if the shock is the thing that hits, completely destroys his shield, pretty much. It can also hit multiple times if he aligns properly. Like if I actually aimed that well, he'd be dead. But also, you get only a small amount of energy on that, so if you miss, well, you're basically done. Now, the dominant strategy is to button spam, so you can kind of break the shield. I'm not sure how viable that is as Proto Man. On easy mode, I think he only has four balls, so it's kind of easy to hit him through the shield. So, now that, now that I don't have Thunder Wool, this fight is gonna be considerably more tedious. Just saying. So, he jumps, I think, two to three times. And then he shoots it out. 
As long as you just keep your distance, you should easily be able to dodge it. I'm not really keeping my distance, am I? And after that's done, if you don't have his weakness, you get like... One hit on him, and then you repeat. This is all he does. I think on the hard mode, he does have a second attack. Also, I'm getting completely destroyed by what's one of the easier bosses, and... This is also probably one of the recommended beginning points. Also, I don't want to waste more time on this. Let me just eat and thunder wool and make this considerably faster and easier. I mean, I was given those weapon tanks for a reason. And that reason is because shield bosses are annoying. Nailed it. So, as long as you just do it like that, he's just kind of dead. Before he can even really do much. Just gets destroyed. Unless you miss. Okay, maybe I'll just agree to this. Then I screw it up anyways. It seems about right. Okay, I think I can handle the rest. Yeah, you can you can get a max of two shots in. Lovely. The most fun form of a shield boss. I think I got three hits there, but whatever. Yeah. So what you get is the water shield. The water shield is godly, and that's the main thing I was lacking in Commando Man Sage to actually do that fast, basically. Because I can basically speed on the first few screens with the water shield active without having to care at all. Each of these gets its single hit off. Do I still have enough lives? No I don't, so let me buy at least one. With that, that being said, we have one more. Solar Man. Not gonna lie, I kind of like his thing of just kind of having a solar generated fireball come from his head. Now, this level on the other hand... Well, it's vaguely fire themed, I'll give it that much. And I'm probably finally gonna have a chance to showcase how bad I am. The water shield. I'm not gonna use it too much because I want to use it on the boss because it's hilarious. This thing split if you don't attack them soon enough. They're annoying. And here's... I, I know these are supposed to be like solar powered electronic sunflowers or some, or some shit. But let's be real. It's death clamps. I don't think anyone's going to argue against that, except the people that will, but those people need to understand that these clamps do that, they're solar powered. Oh, I can block the solar powered shot with Proto Man. Alright, so let's grab me some extra life edge. That would be bad. Couldn't even get out. Whatever. Uh, here's a mini boss. There's two birds. They switch, switch places and all that cool stuff. Then they have the uh, I'm good at the game attack. I actually kind of expected them to die in one water shield. But they have the uh, heat man move. They're not as huge of a threat as me dying to them might indicate. They're actually not a threat at all. 
but so I managed to kill myself because uh, Proto Man takes entirely too much damage. Like, holy shit. That is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh well. Sometimes you win, sometimes you're Proto Man. Proto Man was never locked by anyone. At least not in the universe. Also, I'm almost dead again. Good god. What happened to me? Then maybe I'm not gonna use the water shield, maybe I'll just fight these things for real because it's not like they're hard. Actually, even that move is basically just heat, man. Yeah. So, it took like 20 years, but. But Wily decided to just take Heatman and make it into a bird, and then make two birds. And there you go, it's a harder boss fight. Also, you can't bait them to do the dash attack by shooting them once. So, improved AI. Is this character development? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yay, there's clumps of waiting are fun! Waiting is fun! Uh, that desk clump is positions, po positioned a bit badly, especially if you're not, you know, Mega Man or a uh, Proto Man rather. Because Proto Man actually does that well. Not so congrats, I'm probably gonna game over now. That's good. Wow, I missed my charge shots. Yeah, basically this fight is just about positioning and not much else. You just want to position yourself so that you don't get hit by fireballs. And well, after one of the birds is dead, the fight doesn't actually change. So... That's good. Alright, I got the checkpoint, I should have about zero lives left, and everything is hunky-dory. Alright, so... Let's do that easily enough. Then just haul ass. Not just any ass. Full ass. And I guess I'll get that since it's right there. Alright, so next up we have this joyful spot. Wow, I nailed that. Good job. Alright. Ooh, more desk lampage. I did not realize you were behind me. That went poorly, didn't it? Oh, I still had a life? Why did I get one? Well, good thing I had that, otherwise I would have had to restart. No shit. Okay. Alright. I mean, this isn't all that difficult. Shouldn't really be getting killed by any of this. There we go. Just another desk clamp to deal with. And this one is way easier. And I think we're close to the end. Alright, oh, there's a joyful section here and I don't need any of that. Yeah, this section is a bit rough. Okay. Bit rough is not enough to beat me. Alright, this is the secret difficult to do path. 
And by that I mean it's way easier than whatever the hell that is. Should I think this... yeah, this ends in... Catastrophe? Uh, how do I deal with enemy above me? Can't thunder... I can't thun thunder wall it. Thunder wall, why are you useless? There we go. Alright, I think it's about time for hilarity and Sue. I think this is the last hallway. The last hallway before Water Shield completely destroys Solar Man. I kind of feel bad for the guy. Really, you didn't deserve this. So his gimmick is that if you shoot the ball, his shots basically get stronger. But uh... Help. But uh... At the same time... I... Die. What the shit, me? How could you let this happen? He was supposed to die with like zero resistance. Heh. <sighs> Alright, time to go fast then. No, no reason to go slow anymore. I've already showed how bad I am at this level. Right, there was this extra life. Of course, we get to enjoy the slow birds of death. But then again, I can probably also make them considerably less slow. Like so. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Don't know what the hell you're talking about. I am the best. So, is it always the orange bird that does the, the Heatman move down and that one just can't? Hmm. Interesting. This uh, second half is kind of annoying, actually. It's, like, slow. Instead of fast-paced and fun. Like, I don't really see many ways to do this quickly. Well, Proto-Man can... charge shoot these things out. That's something, right? Okay, this time I kind of need the health, so if I could, please... Does Cole even reach? Yes, it does. Why do I feel like it doesn't? I mean, it clearly did, so... Don't know what I'm complaining about. Maybe the fact that I might be dead. Newsflash, I was not dead. Uh, so make sure health would be nice. You know, health. So a C bomb. Then triple blade. Just need to get to the end of this section without dying. Uh, probably shouldn't be using that. Alright, shoot your shot and die. Didn't die. Alright. We're back. Took only like 3 minutes. And I'm ready to somehow fuck this up again. Hmm. 
Alright, let's try to be a bit more careful about this this time. Also, it's kind of funny, but the water shield actually makes the sun shot he has smaller. I think that's a pretty nice touch. Okay. Also, I like how the water shield, it makes like almost no difference with Mega Man. But it's like, it actually looks, oh my god, why? Okay, you know what? What is going on? Why am I getting absolutely obliterated by this guy? Okay, hold on. I'm going to E-Tank through this if I need to, but like, this is stupid. The water shield completely destroys this guy. Why is he not being destroyed completely? There you go. Why? How? When? Ugh. Don't, don't like it. Just delete it. Where's boss? I don't understand how I... Like, you, he, he should just basically jump right next to you, you use it, he takes three hits from it and he dies. That's That should be the entire fight. The solo place is... Okay. Well, you know, I... Guess we're done. I've been playing for an hour and seven minutes total, and we're done with the Robot Masters. Next time... If everything goes smoothly, and it won't... I guess it's the finale of the series. Unless I do challenge mode, which, uh, hell no. So... Bye.